Are you tired of being broke all the time? Inflation stealing your purchasing power and you can't really do much about it? Well, there's a little secret that the government doesn't want you to know about and really it's kind of a shame that not many people are actually doing this from what I'm seeing. I'm here to tell you that gambling is the secret money cheat code that the government and casinos do not want you to know about. Now what is gambling? Gambling per the definition of Google is the wagering of something of value on a random event with the intent of winning something else of value where instances of strategy are discounted. But the definition is wrong actually. The true definition of gambling that was passed on to me through ancient foreknowledge is the guaranteed making of money through honest means. Now some filthy liberals will try to clap back saying that gambling will lead to addiction and will ruin your life. Well firstly, the word addiction doesn't actually exist. It was a mispronunciation of the word dedication. And secondly, there has never been in the history of the human race a person who has lost money by gambling. All you have to do is keep gambling. And you always make money. I'm surprised no one has really thought about this before. I mean think about it mathematically, okay? If it's a 50% chance to land on red or black on a roulette spin, just bet twice and you have a 100% chance of winning. In fact, here's a secret blackjack technique that most don't actually know. When you're about to lose, bet less money. And when you're about to win, bet all your money. That way when you lose, you'll only lose a small amount. But when you win, oh boy do you win big. Just look at how much fun these people are having. And on top of that, they're all getting filthy rich. The amount of money gamblers are making is obscene. I was actually tempted to not make this video myself because I'm scared that people will go out and take all the casinos money before I make it big myself. It's already started actually. Why do you think all the casinos and gambling companies are switching to online models? It's because they can't afford to keep the lights on after paying out all their customers. Even before this though, casinos never had windows or clocks. Now why do you think that is? They can't afford to pay their customers and buy clocks and windows. The only thing that's keeping casinos afloat is the generous donations from billionaires. I read somewhere that Elon Musk is personally responsible for paying around $23 billion in gambling wins from his own account. Why do you think he keeps selling his stock as fast as he can? To pay the gamblers. Bezos too. I remember he reduced his Amazon employees pay this year by 3% just so he could make sure that gamblers were all cashed out before the end of the fiscal year. Okay, so what are actual steps that you can take to gamble max effectively? Well, what I personally use is the 20-20-20 method. First 20 minutes is spent doing actual work like a government job or a business. Second 20 minutes is spent with your family, as family is always important. And lastly, 20 hours of gambling. If you want to see results, then you have to put the time in. And I can think of no better way than to be sat in a casino stool pulling on a slot machine lever. I've even heard some of the top gamblers commit wire fraud just so they have more money to bet and make more money per day. You think the government will care if you illegally create fake income to secure business loans for millions of dollars only to return that money within the hour after a few hands of blackjack? No, of course not. The only reason why the government doesn't actually promote gambling to its citizens is because if everyone was doing it, there would be so much money being made, it would cause hyperinflation. Literally everyone would be a billionaire and if everyone's a billionaire, then no one's a billionaire. That's why I support increasing taxes on single mothers. I don't do it because I'm biased. I do it so that society won't collapse. If there's one class that we can all work together to keep down, it has to be them. Now you might be asking, who is this stoic stick guy and what does he know about gambling? Well sit down friend, you're about to be blessed with some more stoic stick lore about the time I lost $1,400 in a millisecond. I actually was a massive degenerate gambler, but not in the same sense as the gladiators of the roulette table. I was more interested in financial instrument gambling, less blackjack and more global financial crisis type shit. I used to trade 5 figure sums of money on financial instruments such as stock options that could go to zero with expiry dates of anywhere from a few days to a few hours. How it happened essentially was that PDD, the Chinese shitco ADR, ADRs are just fake stocks on US exchanges meant to track the real ones on the Shanghai exchange, was up 8% before trading hours and me being a degenerate wanted to bet that the stock was going to come back down to normal because the move up was on no news. So I put in a buy order to buy 10 put options, i.e. 10 contracts giving me 1000x leverage to the downside. Yeah man, we want some real degenerate shit. 
What I didn't realize was that my buy order was a market order, meaning that it will fill at any available price rather than setting a buy limit, which would limit the price. And this being market open, the price was still at the high of the day before the 8% move overnight. So I ended up paying around $1,800 for 10 contracts, and then they instantly were revalued at the correct price, putting them at $350. I lost 80% of the trade instantly. Here's the trade info for those of you who are also degenerate options traders. You can look me up using historical options data on CBOE to back up what I'm saying is true. The thing is, I wasn't even a beginner to options. I was trading a lot of volume back in the day. I was paying like 1-2k to 2K USD in commissions for buying and selling contracts every month. I think the worst part of it all is that later in the day, around 90 minutes later to be exact, the contracts were worth more than I bought them for, meaning that I should have made around 7.2k USD in profit instead of getting ass blasted for a 1.4k loss. So I was writing my thesis about the play, I just got shafted. There's other stories that I can tell you about ridiculous amounts made in similar time frames. However, I'm not dumb enough to serve myself on a platter to the tax man. So unfortunately, you'll just have to take my word for it. Now you know my story about being a degenerate options gambler. However, I'm not actually the worst. The crown for biggest degenerate options gamblers actually goes to the Indians. Which for once, I'll actually give them some props. They're really dedicated to options gambling. It's relatively new to India, but ever since 2021, the volume of contracts traded by Indians surpassed all other countries combined. And yeah, that graph is looking pretty exponential to me. Some of this growth may be attributed to Gandhi and the last speech he gave before his death. I can't remember it word for word, but it went something like this. Zero day to expire the call options or a GTFO. And he also said, do not redeem it, do not redeem the card, which I can't really pass out, but it might mean something to some of you. Shockingly, even with Gandhi's blessing, around 90% of them lose money trading options, which is pretty impressive to be honest, given the fact that most hold their option contracts for less than 30 minutes, so the majority of the time the stock doesn't even have much time to move before they're out of their positions. Unless, of course, they are trading a news event, which is where you'll often see the God Candle. The God Candle being a massive move to the up or downside due to a news event like an economic report or the company's earnings release. What happens on these news releases is that a lot of idiots put their stop losses in the same spot, mass liquidating them all and exacerbating the effect of the news, and causing the stock to shoot way up or way down. Honestly, I have to give them all mad respect for gambling maxing so hard. In fact, I actually have a lot more respect for India for having people with the courage to put it all on the line. I mean, they almost always lose, but I can respect the effort. In fact, let's take a look to see how they're doing now. April 20th, 2024. Let's see. High Court in India rules that viewing, downloading... Ch <sighs> well, you can't say that I didn't give them a fair chance. Now before we end the video, let me say a huge thanks to the Ko-Fi supporters, Ruffle Miao Kite, Veni Veni Venyas, love you guys a long time. But anyways, thanks for watching, hope to see you in the next video, bye.